Hi everyone, this is Quentin Moore of Windows Tablet TV, and today I have with me the Acer Iconia W700 Windows Tablet. It's one of the first Windows 8 tablets to be released. Unlike the Microsoft Surface that was released last month, the W700 runs Windows 8, not Windows RT. Thus, the W700 uses the same operating system that runs on your normal desktops and laptops. The Acer Iconia W700 is on sale now, if you can find one in stock. Prices start at $799 and top out at $999. The model that I have here includes an Intel Core i5 processor that operates at 1.7 GHz. The unit also comes with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. The display is 11.6 inches and has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The W700 features Intel graphics with 128 megabytes of shared RAM. Other features include a 5 megapixel rear facing camera, an HD front facing camera, which I think is 1.3 megapixels, 802.11 Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, two speakers, and a microphone. One other thing the W700 includes is a docking station and Bluetooth keyboard. So I want to get started here with the unboxing. This appears to be a case for the W700. It actually looks like a very nice case. We'll take a look at that case in a moment. Here I have what appears to be a quick start guide, usual documentation. Comes in multiple languages, of course. Next we have the W700 itself. Very nice. Here we have some more documentation, if I can get it out of the box. Looks like a uh, system restore CD and here's the user manual. If I can get this out, there we go. Let's see here. Ah, this is the stand for the docking station. Uh, one thing I saw in one of the earlier videos is that you can orient the docking station in landscape or uh, portrait mode. So there are directions on how to do that, I guess. This looks like it may be the keyboard, and yes it is, it's the Bluetooth keyboard that comes with the W700. Keyboard looks really nice, I'm glad that it has a full size right shift key. If you touch type this out there, we'll appreciate that. This has to be the docking station. Okay, and on the inside there, you see a port for the power and USB. And on the back, we see three USB ports and a port for the AC adapter. And that's the slot for the uh, stand I showed you earlier. A 
Lastly, we have the power core and I'm sure the power brick. We also have a external monitor adapter, I guess. And that power brick is huge. And that's it. Now that we have the W700 out of the box and everything cleaned up, let's take a look at the tablet itself. The one thing I want to point out to you is how easy it is to remove and place the tablet into the dock. I remember reading on YouTube that perhaps it wasn't that easy to get the tablet into the dock, but as you can see here with a little bit of practice, I can basically put the tablet into the dock with just one hand. Once I pull the tablet out of the dock and show it up to you close, one of the first things you'll see is that the device collects a lot of fingerprints. I was finding myself constantly cleaning the screen with my uh, microfiber cloth and uh, maybe my hands are greasy, I don't know, but that's probably the only thing that jumped out at me so far that I wasn't all that happy about. If we take a close look at the device, at the bottom here you'll see the Windows Start key. It's the actual physical button, which is nice. I always prefer to have a physical button as opposed to a, 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 you know, a touch screen button. And you'll see that little dot up there. My camera gets in focus. Maybe not. Let me hold it back a little bit. That right there is the HD front facing camera, which can be used for Skype or whatever other video conferencing software you might want to use. You can also use this camera to take uh, pictures of yourself while you're looking at the front of the device. Looking at the right side of the device, we see a stereo and microphone jack. We also see a volume button and a power switch. At the bottom of the device, you'll see a pair of grooves for the stereo speakers. On the left side of the device, we see a micro HDMI port, a USB port, and a port for the uh, dock or AC adapter. At the top of the device, you'll see two grills used for ventilation for the Intel Core i5 processor. So far I haven't noticed uh, any fan noise or any other noise coming from the device, but I haven't used it a lot so far. And on the back of the device, you see the five megapixel uh, rear facing camera. Notice that the camera is actually positioned on the side of the device instead of in the center of the device. You also see the Acer logo as well as the Intel and uh, Windows 8 logos on the back. So let me power on the tablet. I'll type in my password using the Bluetooth keyboard. And there you have it. You have your standard start screen with a whole bunch of pre-installed applications. Just nice. Now I haven't played around with the tablet itself or any of the software that's on it yet, but I plan to do so now and uh, in a moment or two I'll put up another video uh, giving you a demo of the tablet. But that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.